Hello and welcome. I'm Bill Wake. We're here working this week on a test uh, test library, and I'm mostly just exploring some ideas. There's this notion of result builders that lets you write DSLs, domain-specific languages, and I want to play around with that. Um, in particular, I want to try it for a range act assert, and we won't get there quite just yet, but I'll show you what I have in mind. Something like this, that that there's a a structure or something that's a result builder that takes a range that takes some sort of function and yields a subject and then an act that yields an actual value potentially and then an assert that has a bunch of boolean expressions in it that that all get tested so i'm i'm hoping i don't know i'm hoping we can get this well i don't know we'll see what i'm hoping <laughs> i'm i'm hoping to make tests more focused on what their 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 real hardcore code is and and be more explicit about about these three steps now i allow that you can sometimes have to maybe test before you do the action to make sure the setup is right or you have to um, do an action assert another action another assert I, I tend not to use them but there are occasional cases um, but i think a lot of the language, I mean, I don't know, I get tired of having XCT assert equals, <laughs> okay, and uh, stuff like that. And I think if I do the Boolean expression, I feel like, you know, with debuggers and everything else in there, you may not, you may not miss the detailed stuff of it. I don't know. We'll see. First, we're trying to do this in um, the parameterized test we've been running. So, uh, let's see, the original form is like this. You call check examples. You give it an array of EGs, for instances, uh, exemplary gratia or something in Latin. And um, each one of those has inputs, outputs, optional message, and then there's an implicit line number. So when you get an error, you can um, you get pointed to the actual line number of the test case, which I think is pretty cool. Um, the way we've been trying it is this result builder approach. And I read enough yesterday that I can think I can change up a little bit and see if we get anywhere. But here, notice the examples, they're in braces instead of brackets. So squiggly ones instead of square ones. Um, there's no commas in here. So we've gotten rid of a little bit of syntax. Unfortunately, I have to put the parentheses around them um, to work with the argument we have. So let's find examples. And you can see we don't know what we're doing. So we've got lots of commented out code. And this is very much a spike, uh, a multi-session spike. All right. So here we have examples as a function. And it says, I'm going to use the check to, which I think we could call example builder would be an improvement. Um, well, let's this way. This result builder. Okay. So I think we'll rename this to, oh man, um, example builder. And now we should have a complaint somewhere down here. Okay. Okay. And, um, that example builder says, if you pass in content returning void, I will give you a chance to call methods interpreting that content. Okay. And uh, let's go back to example builder. Okay. So we said it was a struct. You basically have to provide some functions. The one you have to have is build block. And we're saying you give us components that are a bunch of EGs, and I'll turn it into an array of components for you. Okay, and so you give a series of components, EGs, and it turns it into an array, and then examples takes that content and that calling it like that turns it into the array as as requested, and then it runs the normal assert on it. Now I think. An alternative is um, we can make this a struct rather than a function, which is probably more um, 
more likely. Okay. Um, and let's give it an initializer. Oops. Okay. Init example builder. And that's, we're still going to keep the content. There's no producing here. Okay. Um, okay, let's see if that works as is. I don't know if it will. Right. <laughs> Got to conform to. Expected declaration struct. Struct foo bracket. Okay, struct can have an init. What's the matter with her init? Well, that all seems okay. Expected. Uh. Okay, there's init. Takes some stuff and calls that and then. And okay, I'm gonna comment it out and retype it. I feel like something's. Examples. It's parameterized. Okay, and then init takes an example builder of input output. Content of nothing produces array of EGs with input output and then an assert of assert input output no. That should match that. That should match that. Expected. Oh. Input. Output. That goes there. Okay. Let's not worry about parameter or public yet. Now wait, how do you get <laughs> on comment out code I'm getting a complaint. That seems unfair. Okay, uh let's see if I can find my notes. Example builder something content of void produces a type. Maybe I'm not allowed to have that second parameter there. What the heck? Is there some... I really don't like it when I'm... 
Uh, uh, welcome, new duck. Okay, so I'm getting some weirdness here. Um, I'm getting a complaint in the middle of a comment. Let me let me do a rebuild, and I may have to restart. Now there we go. Okay, I don't know what I was confused about, but all right, let's see if I can put this back in. There, put that there. Okay. Let's see. So I'm trying to um, create a testing library in Swift, and it has this thing called Result Builders. And what Result Builders do is they let you um, they let you write your code. Like, notice this. It's just it's just a bunch of class declarations, or, you know, initialized instances. This example, example, example. There's no commas. There's no array. It's just a bunch of examples. And what happens is this example builder tag, um, it gets, um, it sort of injects something around your call of content and um, basically lets you, lets you insert additional code around it. Uh, let's go up to that. Um, okay, so here's example builder. And it says, I'm a result builder. And what it does is it defines a component build block. And build block says, if you give me a bunch of components on separate lines, I will wrap them up into an array for you. I, I promise to build an array, and I do it by taking the array of the arguments you gave me. And um, that's how this piece worked. Now this is unused. Yeah, I'm not... I'm not quite sure. Whoop. Oh, hello, buddy. <laughs> oh, excuse me just a minute. Okay, sorry. <laughs> A little very young visitor today. Okay, um... So it's going to call build block and let me do conversions on the contents. Now, what what is going on here? So I think this examples now by turning it into a struct. It's it's accepting this, and it's saying it produces something and you don't do anything with it. Now, I don't think I should have to. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Okay. The difference is um if I look at a if I look at like Swift UI uses I don't know um what you would call it, but it it uses a similar approach to build graphical stuff. And so if this was, you know, text, okay, but it returns the text here. It doesn't just call it. Um now, what if I do this? Okay, so I can eliminate the message. I'm just ignoring the result of it. Huh. Yeah, I'm not, not quite sure here. Th there's, well, we've got some examples. <laughs> okay, so here we've got um, a, a protocol that says I'm drawable. Oh, it's a interface if you're used to Java or C sharp. Um, it's got draw string and then it's got a bunch of elements that that uh, have that type and you can assemble them all into um, uh, a picture basically. So a line you tell it the elements, notice it's an array of, of inst you know separated by commas. Um, but if you do this result builder thing, it looks more like this. You you get all this stuff, and there's no commas. It's all just done in this brackets, this trailing closure braces, um, and and that's what we're after. Now, what this is saying is there's a function draw that takes the content and does it. 
Okay, let's let's try. Let's take this out, and we'll give it a function. Um, okay, so assert. Let's let this do. Check out examples. Um, Uh, let's say K examples and assert. Okay, so we're gonna have to save examples around. Okay, um, this let's save examples. Um, let examples be of type. Well, is this eg input output thing? Okay, and we'll save them here. Okay, so we'll take that that structure there, and then we'll allow a call to check, and check will take those examples and run the assert on it, and so this needs to be check. Okay. And it's it's all do we like it? <laughs> okay, now it's now it's not no okay. Okay, um is this better? Okay. I don't think it really is. I mean it's nice to not put the commas in. I think I can leave this out. Okay, let's run that. Yeah, I mean, it's it's okay. I might be able to leave out this declaration. That would be a nice improvement. Okay, so it, it can do the type checking now because it knows the types of these inputs and all that stuff. Okay, so we're comparing this, like play optometrist, you know, this versus this. I mean, it's 5% better. It's not enough to wow me. Hmm. Okay. Um I, well, let's let's commit it we're working. Um this is um parameterized test using result builder. Okay. Um Yeah, so whoops. I guess I want to switch gears. Let's clean out this stuff a little bit. Let's let's tackle that arrange act assert and see what we get from that. <laughs> I had such hopes of this, um, but maybe I just yeah I can't quite like what would really make it sing. <laughs> Hmm. Yeah, I don't don't quite know. All right, I've messed up my other screen here. Hang on. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, build expression. Just taking pieces out here. Okay, because I want to try this experiment. And uh, let's, let's do a bit at a time. 
Okay, so I don't know if this is the ultimate way to write this stuff, but the notion I have is you might have a bunch of code and um, the result of that code has to be a subject of some sort. And notice I'm not doing any type checking on it. It's, it's going to be implicit. Um, so arrange. Okay, let's try and rename this. Assert method. Okay, so a range is going to be oh, what's missing here. That one's okay. That looks okay. something there okay so arrange let's do it kind of like we did examples <sighs> struct arrange oh, I don't need the I don't need that yet okay arrange and um, it's initializer. Well, we need an arrange builder. Hmm. Arrange builder contents of nothing goes to well, what's it going to be maybe we don't hmm Okay, contents is going to be Well, maybe it's not even a builder. Let's let's give it um um assertion assert method. Um Well, no, that's not right. Well, let's let's give it setup, and the type of setup is um, the whole goal of it is to be uh, hmm. It it's to give start with nothing and produce. Uh, subject okay so I am gonna have to do this okay so I'm saying whatever the subject type is a range should produce that hmm Okay, and all right, let's let, let's run with that for a minute. Um, setup I'm going to call it okay so subject is tentatively in a range I guess we don't want to care just yet but I don't want to hmm <laughs> 
Okay, well, we deal that. We deal with that. Okay, now this act. Well, it certainly needs to know the subject. And the result of that is an actual. Hmm. Um. Well, okay, let's declare. And it subject where is that coming from <sighs> of type subject well no he's not really he's not really passing a subject in He's really passing in an act, which is nothing. Well, no, it's really got to be subject goes to actual. Okay. And... Okay. <sighs> What's he going to remember? Well, I guess he's going to remember this action. I don't know that he should actually do it. Um, it's some code, right? And it's... Uh, Act e well, self dot act equals act. Okay, so we're not running the function just yet. Okay. Um, okay. Like somehow I want this all to flow in. Okay, um, right, and then we've got a cert. And I don't know, okay, a cert. I'm sure he's gonna need some types, but we don't know them yet. All right, and then this one, init, um, I really do want it to take a bunch of expressions. So this is kind of like this, this, examples. So let's go back to examples. We're going to have example builder. Well, I'll just take this for a moment. Okay, I'm going to make my own assert builder, I guess, um, which is going to take a bunch of content and produce let's see, predicates. Are expressions, Boolean expressions. I mean, we want to go from actual to um, 
to nothing. I don't know if I can make them impl implicitly be that. Hmm. Okay, let's take this out. Content goes to something. Well, what is this thing going to be? Um... He's he's going to be predicate. Let's let's or an expression. Well, let's let's do this. Public struct predicate. Um, I won't worry about the contents just yet, but somehow I'm producing an array of predicates. And this is assert builder. Because we haven't done it yet. <laughs> okay, but somehow we're going to give it a chance, and this is going to be array of predicate. Okay, so somehow this is going to evaluate that to an array of predicates. Okay, and then we need to we need to check them. Okay, and then we need a cert builder. Um, where's example builder? Here we go. Okay, we're going to make a cert builder. I don't know what the generic arguments are yet. It's going to have some. And build block, the components are um, Well, the components are, are they predicates in? They're not really. They're really expressions. So we're gonna have to look up how to do that one. But then on the way out, they're gonna be predicate. Okay. And let's find a build expression in our documentation. Oh boy. Build experts in here. Okay. Builds a partial result from an expression. You can implement it to perform pre-processing, convert expressions to an internal type, or to provide in additional information for type inference. Okay. Um, build expression elements of expression. Okay, and I think our case that's Boolean. Okay, so let's let's try something like this. Element This turns it into predicate. Um, B 
field expression element expression returns array of element. So that's just one. Um, build block joins those components. <sighs> um, okay, what I think we need to do is um, we're going to take element is that just one? Let's just say that's a predicate for now. And I'm kind of working out what predicate has to be. Predicate of element. Can I do pound line? I don't know if that'll get me the line of it. Okay. Let's go to predicate. Okay. Init. Um, predicate of Boolean. And line of integer equals zero. Okay, so this turns those into single values, and then this turns that into an array of them. Okay, and this, this is going to be used by ACT. I wonder if a result builder can get the actual line number somehow. I don't think I'm doing it. I'm going to get the line number of my my value up here. It's going to be 104 every time. Okay. So, <laughs> um, predicates. We get a bunch of predicates. And then... I guess I want to do a build final. Type is void. And what are we going to do? We're going to do Component dot for each. Um, we're going to say, well, no. I think these things have already evaluated. No, maybe they haven't. I'm not quite sure. Does this, this seems like it must evaluate it here. Okay, let's, let's try something different. How about component dot? And satisfy, all satisfy. So I want them all true. Um, Is 
is that enough? <laughs> it's easy, it's so true. Um, Um, okay, let's, um, let me get the expression message file expression message Okay, I'm not going to get that right now. Okay, let's see what we got. S something's going on. All right, so I'm saying assert true should run all the statements in its list, all the predicates. And if they're true, then this thing returns true and it's happy. If they're false, it's going to throw an exception. But it's got no message and it's got no, well, I was going to say, expected true but was not or something like that um doesn't have the line number i want the line number of the item i'm on uh, okay but i seem to have the pieces somewhat here okay so uh let's see we have this little demo thing so demo string of sum okay so arrange let's say demo a new instance of demo. Okay, so that's the that's the subject. Now act is taking a predicate or a closure rather. Act takes something that takes a subject to an actual. Um, well, let's take one of these, minus one, one. Oh, that's not going to work. Well, maybe it will. Subject dot... Well, right now I can say subject. We'll see if we can get rid of this stuff. But the the type of that is a demo. Okay. Um, dot string of sum three four four. Okay, and now. assert wants to say actual equals seven as a string all right so three zero it sums them Sure. 
actual what's the type of actual act of nothing comma string hmm Assert gets nothing. I don't think he should get nothing. I think he should get the actual. Okay, and then this is actual to predicate given those. Fine. Okay, so predicates equals content. Well, where was I doing all that stuff? Okay, up there. Um, okay, that computes it as an array of characters. But then the final thing I somehow have to get So right now with the builder, each each line, I'll, I'll put the same one twice just to have two things to talk about. Um, I can really have nothing to type predicate. Okay, something's not quite right here. Let's um, let's make these predicate closures, and it's really an array of oh, how can I do this? The content takes an actual and produces array of predicates. And actuals, no, this is not really right. See, I want this to almost be like I want it to be like this. Where the number value coming in here is coming from our act. So he saves this. Okay, I'm going to move this down. Where we're looking at it. Okay, so what I want to do, I want to give assert a function of actual uh, 
it's a bunch of lines. Well, no. It's a closure that's actual to void. Okay, so let's try this again. Assert is going to take a closure. And I don't know if it's a... Let's let's take let's do this. Take out the assert builder. Um this is a search closure. Okay. What if assert is a function? Taking a closure. Then I want I think it's taking an actual value too. Value of actual and a closure. Well, no, this can't be that. Hmm. String protocol requires act conform. Okay, so act is coming in as the result of this. Um, what does act got? So actual, and he, he owns the act. Assert, you give it an act and a closure. And he converts act. Oh, wait, does act need act subject actual? I think I need my subject as well. Ugh. Act has two parameters. Okay, 
it's got subject and actual. So I gotta have subject and actual down here. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, so given the act is the subject actual, <coughs> excuse me, then the closure, we want to be on actual. Okay, so what are we going to do? All right, we have act. Okay, so we can call act dot act. Okay, let's see, does that make sense? Yeah, so we're passing, oh, we gotta pass a subject. I don't think we want to let that escape like that. Okay, so I think we want to call, it takes a subject to actual, but we're going to say actual equals act I guess we got to get a subject in here, don't we? I don't know. <laughs> subject. Okay, so the initial has to pass in a subject of type subject and an act of subject to actual, if we call it. Actual. Okay, so this is going to have to take subject. Um, for now, subject dot subject. Well, I want to take subject, which is going to be in a range of subject. Oh, goodness. <laughs> okay. And let's format this a little. Okay. So it takes the subject, which is an arrange of subject, and it takes the act, which is the closure. I don't know why this is not formatting right. We want this to be dollar zero. Okay. Um, and, okay. Takes the subject, which is in a range. Okay. And this needs to be subject dot subject. Okay. So it pulls out the actual demo type and passes that to the act function, which takes the demo type and stores the actual value here. All right, and then in this one, act act is an actual.
Okay. Uh, act isn't. Well, let's call it actual. Okay, so now we're working with actual. We want to call assert closure on actual. That doesn't want to format that way. I don't know. Okay. Result of operator auction is unused. No. All right, let's do a rebuild. Seems like I can either get my template, my my library working, or I can get my code working, but not both. Okay, still complaining. Referencing option on string protocol requires act demo string. I don't want act demo string coming in. Actual, what's act doing? Um, act is storing the actual in there. <sighs> okay, so let me do it to make my assert take. Assert takes. Well, the problem is act needs both. Uh, once again, let's let's unroll it into a function and see if we can make it twist it around. Public func act subject actual. Um, once all this stuff subject is an arranged subject act is a function okay this should produce an actual okay and so if it returns acts on subject dot subject. Okay, so it takes the subject is an arrange. Let's call this uh, arrange. Okay, so we've got the arrange. And we've got the action, the closure, and we're going to return act applied to arrange.subject. It's the only thing, so it can skip the word return. All right, so the act given a subject an actual is going to produce an actual. So actual should be of type actual string in our case. Yay. Okay. Now, the result of that is the result of this. Okay. Um, oh, we're back here. Okay. I want to somehow catch these things and wrap the insert equals around them. Okay, so let's go to assert. 
Assert closure actual. Okay, so we get the actual, the type is string. We want to make some assertions. They're void. Let's make this thing return a Boolean. Let's try this for now. Assert this returns boolean. Assert closure. So we want to call this on the actual and then we want to do our assert. Assert true. This. Okay, so assert that the closure is true. Actual. Okay, everything's compiling. Let's see if it does what I want it to do. I hate having to pass subject around. And actual. Okay. Um, that's, well, it's something. I don't know, there's a lot of overhead. Uh, hi, uh, Sasha R172. Good to see you, thanks, I'm good. Um, so I'm trying to, do a new style of unit test and build a testing framework for it. And I'm focusing on this notion of range, act, and assert, and that your test should just be that. And I don't want all the overhead of saying XCT assert equal and all that stuff like a normal test does. I want to build that into the framework if I can. Um, and I really want... I'd like to get the line number in there too, but that's that's later. <laughs> um, and so I've been using this thing called Result Builder. Well, this one doesn't use it really. So, um, but Result Builder is supposed to let you grab the middle of a bunch of blocks of stuff and modify them before the code actually runs. It's it's kind of halfway. I don't know. It's it's kind of like a wrapper, kind of a compile time wrapper or well, it's really runtime. It lets you insert a com a runtime wrapper around statements. And I can show it up here. So here are examples. Notice these things, they're just standalone um eg is a a class or a struct, so it just creates an instance that holds these values. And I've got these three in a row, but then it um because examples uses one of these result builder things it can it can detect these these values here and wrap them up into an array and then pass that array into the check function um yeah so I, I, i'm not quite using it for this range act assert thing but i want to so i'm trying to figure out a way to do that and i 
think I think I'm going to take well the the other idea I have is if I wrap this in a test like this um I haven't defined test but I think if I did that I could probably drop this stuff and then let the test be responsible for passing things in so I'd just have arrange act assert and no assignments or any of that stuff um that's my next phase is to try that so what i'm going to do is pile on to our giant <laughs> spike here okay this should all still run okay and um i don't know why this is okay so this I guess we did arrange act assert with closures but not result builder okay now I'm gonna I'm gonna rename these to like two you well know, I'm gonna try it's not cooperating okay let's try it over here there we go I'm gonna call it a range two and this one is gonna be act two Range act and down here is a cert. Okay. Okay. Let's commit that, uh, renames. Okay, so I'm going to take this test, modify it. I'm going to say test of this. I want it to look like that. Arrange demo. I'm going to get rid of this actual equals act. I'm going to pass a subject. Okay. I don't know, maybe this is better. I don't know. None of these exist. That's the complaint. Arrange. Okay. And this is just going to be a range test. Okay. So I think if I do these right, I can make test deal with it. Okay. So let's, <laughs> let's keep appending. Okay. So I want a range to take. No, I think a range is similar to what it was. Well.
Okay, that. What have I done? Oh, okay. Arrange. Arrange to is ambiguous. Well, I don't think it is. Whoops, oh, that's what I did. Okay, now I want to take a range two. Put it on the bottom as a range. Okay, so a range takes the subject and it's going to call the closure and save the subject. Okay, so that one seems okay. Then act. This one may get different. Okay, let's make an act over subject and actual. What does it do? Well, it has a knit that takes a range. Uh, a knit, a range, act. Okay. <laughs> um, what's it doing? Okay. So he's got to take, he's going to be a function. Well, he's not going to take a range anymore. He's just going to take a function that turns a subject into an actual it's subject to actual and then it doesn't produce anything because it's an initializer and we're just going to keep the act around let act of subject to actual. Okay, now I'm much more storing things for later. Um, so he's going to hold this function that takes some subject, we don't know what, and turns it into some actual, we don't know what. In our case, it's going to become demo. Hopefully, it judges it to be demo. Okay, now let's get assert. And then I think assert is similar. It takes, well, we don't need the actual, but it does take actual to boolean and let's keep his closure around we'll just call it assert
Search for actual. Uh, um, let assert of type actual to boolean. That's actually kind of redundant. Okay. And then init takes the closure, which we'll call assert actual to bool. Okay, so now we have three things. Oh, you're not quite there. Cannot try to assert in scope. Text argument for closure expects one. We haven't done test yet. Okay, let's try test. <laughs> Public struct test. I don't know what it needs to know. It's going to have to know. I guess it's going to know subject and actual. And then it needs to. Oh, test is, what type is that? Oh, we've got it up there. Okay, let's call this uh, test testing for now. Okay, public struct testing of subject and actual. Okay. Now. This and a bit for type. I don't know if we. Hopefully, we'll be able to get around that. Okay. Um. All right. Now we're gonna put in. We're gonna create. One of these. <laughs> now, I don't think anybody's using result builder or assert builder. Okay, but let's call it testing builder. Actually, I may be able to use test builder. Yes. Okay. So, build block, I'm going to say. Well, it's going to take specific things. So I'm going to say it takes an arrange. Range of subject. It's going to take an act of subject and actual and it's going to take an assert of assert actual okay right and so you need to come in here And what he's going to produce, yeah. I 
think he's gonna produce nothing. I guess. Okay, I don't think we need build expression. We might need build final result. Extra trail enclosure passed into call. Oh, that's testing. So we haven't we haven't fully defined him. Okay. I don't think we need a final result. Okay, so you give me all this stuff, and I think now I want the this code is what I'm trying to get over here. So I'm gonna say let subject equal our range. Yeah, what's a range look like? A range dot subject. Okay, and actual equals actual oh, well it's act and it just stored the function. Applies to subject. Right? function from subject to returning actual okay and then this type should be actual capital A okay and now we're gonna say XCT uh, true and we want to do our assert holds a function assert of actual oh. <laughs> okay I still don't have oops I cannot call value of non-function type assert of actual assert is an assert of actual oh I guess it's assert dot assert Okay. Now, now this, I mean, there's a little bit of double naming here. Arrange dot subject, arrange dot act, and then assert dot assert. But subject equals some arrangement. Actually, equals that arrangement apply to the subject, and then the assertion is true. Feels like the right kind of thing. Okay, now we're not using test builder at all here. All right, so this I guess he needs a constructor. It's got to be test builder of Content of what? Yeah, what's the type? Test builder. Do these things need a, a parent? <coughs> I, I'm 
not quite sure if I need this. I'm trying to get them all to a common type I can talk about. Content of marker? Requires a body. Well, fair enough. Okay. Now, test builder requires types. Okay, test builder is subject to actual. Result builder test builder can only be applied to a parameter of function type. Function type. Okay, what did we do up here? Check three. Oh, okay. Component is this. <sighs> Sorry, let me look again. Okay, so he he has a build block that takes a component, which is the assert method. And it produces something, but we don't care what. <coughs> and then who uses check three? Down here, we have checking takes an assert method. example they gave us uh, this one drawing builder is content to drawable which is the common protocol content and they say nothing and then marker is our common I don't know if I can do that If I just call component, does it, what does it do? Something called a function is unused. All right, let's see what we got. Extra trailing closure passed in call. Cannot convert value of type to closure result type marker. <sighs> okay. And unable to infer contents. Okay, I think uh, let's take a break, like a three minute break. Come back and see if we can straighten out these types a little bit. All right, see you in a few minutes. 
All right, welcome back. I'm going to go back to this and see if we can pull some principles out. Okay, so Drawing Builder is content to drawable. I mean, they have this common parent class, and maybe that's the thing I'm missing. But the draw function produces that. This does that, and then they return it. I mean, I don't want to return it. I want to call my actual assert. Hmm. That's not helping. Okay. Result builder built block returns line. Now, oh, let's see if I can go back to this one. I think they have the code. No. I really was hoping for a link to the code. <laughs> hmm. I don't think we care about this stuff. When does documents have? Model data. Yeah, I don't find that helpful. Okay, what else we got? Attributes. Well, they do have the transcript. I don't know if we can find enough code in there to make it. No, I don't think so. I may have to just go through the whole thing again. But that they did this was clever. I mean Okay, I'm gonna skip. Alright, now this is the bare description result builder. Okay, implement static methods. Now, somewhere I saw an example where build block took something. No, wait a minute. Build block takes a bunch of components of a type and returns the type. Something's funny. What's the complaint here? Oh, the usage of it. Content goes to drawable. Nothing goes to hand. Okay, let's see, draw. Here's draw. You give it a bunch of individual things. It's the content, and the whole thing is a drawable. So it can do build block, take a bunch of drawables like stars, and put them in a line, and content gets the line. I mean, I think I want to be void here. I, I don't want anything back. That's what happens if I do that. Because all the code is in 
in this thing, build block. Okay, cannot convert value of type to any marker. Okay, it's still, it's build. Oh, unable to infer. this out. So the infer issue is this thing is subject and actual, but it doesn't know, it doesn't know them here. I mean, if I said demo string, I bet that warning goes away there. Right. What if I said testing demo string? Is that legal? Result, well. That's happy. That is happy enough. No. Okay, let's make sure this is. Okay, now maybe this is where this finalized thing comes in. Build final result. So before turning it, now maybe I can do this. Wait, let's do this. And what's the type of this? It should be void, I think. Oh, it's testing demo string. Hmm. Usually they consume it. I'm sorry, they they do something with it. So this thing returns drawable, and it's fine that the greeting can do this. We don't even have to put we didn't have to put the let greeting equals. We could just say draw. And because it produces a drawable, it would do the right thing there. Now, maybe, maybe there's a frameworky way to get at this. I don't know. All right, but let's do this. See if this passes. And then let's make sure it can break. Yeah, that really sucks, doesn't it? So it's showing up in the framework. Let's see if we can get around that. Assert init. Let's do file equals pound file, line equals pound line. Is that going to do anything? I think they both string and int. Okay. Assert true. A 
assert dot file and assert dot line. Right. Now what's your problem? Okay, let's get these. Cannot convert. Static string. It's an empty one. How about a real one? Well, maybe these have to be static. U int, okay. shoot okay there we go now the principle is you ought to know that since it tagged it there, that's, is it visible, is it understandable what's going on? Ugh. Okay. Well, it's progress to mark it there for sure. And this is subject actual. So it's this thing that failed. I don't know. Okay, I mean, that's marginally adequate. I want to get rid of this, and I don't know, I have to do this in here. Testing, test builder knows subject and actual. 
Testing, no subject and actual. All right, let's see if we can do this build final. Build my result component of type component. Still not going away. Hmm. I don't know that I want to replace the whole test finding mechanism and all that stuff. Ugh. Okay, let's see what we can do. Builder, um, Well, people are trying to explain it. <laughs> All right, there's view builder. Now, how do we get to see the declaration of the Swift view protocol? View builder of our body self dot body get. Result of an attribute of a function or variable or some script. Cool DSLs. Well, let's see this one. Let's go back. 
testing. Okay, that's kind of what I was trying to do. Let's see that. Well, I could use that name, maybe. Expect. Given. I don't see any builders in here. Oh, there's given builder. Yields an array of steps. Okay, yes. Execute. The one thing I want to see is expect. Is that in here? Given when then or when then. Yeah, we definitely have that situation too that we could, um, we might, might only have the tuple. Um, you have act and assert and not arrange. Probably other combinations. Um, yeah, this is, this is good. I mean, we could do that. That would be reasonable. Um, it's like the one step I'm missing, though. Maybe it was back in expect. Expectation builder. No, there's no expect in here. Rorschach, read me. Good place to start. Okay, so expect. Expecting is implicit. Okay, there's expect. Given a builder with a given and when and then. Yes, that's kind of what we want. Or just a when and then. That's fine. Expect. Builder. Content. To nothing goes to that. Yeah, maybe that's the kind of thing we'll have to do. Okay, I'm hoping to put this on the test class, the testing thing. Okay, and so I think the, is it this one? Yeah, expectation builder, build block. Okay, let's see what we do that's like that. That'd be our testing. Okay, so this is really the triple. So it's a range of subject. Act of subject actual and assert of actual. the result of these three. OK. 
Okay, where's my missing one? There it is. Now, is this a final? It's a build block for his own thing. Where did that expect thing go? Protocol expecting. Okay, where's that test case that does it? Test symbol? There's no... I don't see the word expecting anywhere here. But there. <laughs> okay. Um, source version this this protocol expecting says there is an expect oh extension xc test case okay that's a good thing Now, why doesn't it complain? Okay, so expect <coughs> returns the given when then. Uh, sorry. Oh, the con the builder return gives given when then. Content dot given content dot when dot dot title. Okay, and expect is a void. So maybe that's the protocol we're missing. But why doesn't he have to worry about types? I guess it's because he's not he's not carrying them through given when then. <sighs> okay. Okay, let's see. Where is that? Test builder, sorry, result builder, test builder, say result builder. Struct testing. I think the suggestion is we want to make that a function. Okay, 
so let's say public funk testing probably needs subject and actual at least to infer it and then um, extension XC test case implements testing no that's a protocol Well, let's put a protocol in. Oh, wait, we need to. Oops. Okay, let's check this in for now. Um, we have um, a range active surge, but a little clunky. Ex um, assign result with equals. Must specify type on act. All right, now I can do that stuff. All right, so there's test builder. Let's put the t protocol in. Public protocol, AAA. Okay, so the protocol is that's the given when then, or in our case, a range act assert. Um, all right, let's go back here. Okay, so we have to define that with our builder. Content goes to given, well, a range of subject act of subject actual and assert of actual which means these three need to be on here, or two. Subject actual. I think I have to do this with type alias or something. That's gotta be weird. <sighs> Requires arguments in
this may be the thing that scares. Protocol methods must not have bodies. That's true. But if there's a way to get types into these things. Uh, Not what I had in mind. I think I'm going to get a bunch of stuff telling me why I can't do it. <laughs> Oh yeah, associated type. collection that gets us to the underlying type maybe we can just try that Especially it's not generic over here. Move that. How am I going to know this type? I left off um, I don't think that's going to help <sighs> reference
I don't think I'm getting what I want. It, it seems... I don't see a way to get those types passed in if, if I can't put them on test case. Right? Where's... I mean... This test is a test case. Now the the given when then the Rorschach framework got by without it because he's not using generics he's just making you um, you do your own local declarations and your own access and there's no I guess the when these statements can be run separately they all kind of stand alone so there's no big deal with them. But I really want to get rid of this. Let's see what this guy does. Yeah, you gotta use that. Generic. What? Okay, I'm putting it on the function. out. How weird. Okay. So actually actual. Sure. like that one. I think this is just random selections of replies on things. Oh, 
Well, I can infer it. find type actual in scope. So let's go back here. Deserializer with type. Well, I just have the type and some arguments goes to some other type. Cannot find actual in scope. Cannot find subject. Where is it when any any? Okay, that's completely not real. Let's just do the old clean first. Okay, that may be okay. Testing, do I have to say demo string? Cannot specialize a non-generic definition. Why can it not be inferred? See if this is enough to infer it. No, it's not. And yet, when I do it, can I specialize a non generic definition? Because it's a protocol, it's not generic. Could not be inferred, subject could not be inferred. Which seems weird in a way because it's got a test builder of subject actual and it's got all these. Okay, well, this is a little frustrating. Um, we will pick up here tomorrow. I'm not quite sure how far we're going with this. This is, if I could get rid of this. I know I can get rid of the actual. Okay, I mean, if I could get it down to this, I'd be pretty happy. Um, so we'll pick up there tomorrow and see what we can do. I'm kind of feeling like maybe we can't cross this hurdle that, that the type information just isn't going to be adequate to infer it across these things. I'm a little frustrated by that, but we'll see. Okay, so we'll pick up there tomorrow. One to 3.30 p.m. Eastern Time or 6 to 8.30 p.m. UTC. 
Thanks for joining. I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.